What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we have officially maxed out our Season 3 Field Pass and our Gridiron Guardians Field Pass. It's time to claim some free rewards. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you were searching around YouTube for Mutt 23 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your Ultimate Team, you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so it's been a couple days since we updated you on the no money spent squad we made a couple upgrades and we're going to make some more in this video so let's talk about our field passes our number one season three field pass fully maxed out if you haven't done it yet you basically have 11 to 10 days to do so a lot of people always ask like how do you max or how do you level up through these field passes quickly there's really no secret it's just basically completing objectives so if you go over to programs and statistical objectives doing your dailies of course is going to help and uh you know that's pretty much it there's no like repetitive solo that you can play now within every other field pass there are xp rewards so if we go to like the gridiron guardians field pass at level 17 you can see you get 30,000 xp at level 15 another 30k at level 12 another 30k so can Completing your field passes gives you Season 3 XP, and that XP will help you level up the Season 3 field pass. And getting through these field passes, same thing. You need to go over to objectives. You need to attack these specific objectives to earn XP, and that's it. It's pretty straightforward. So we did complete our Gridiron Guardians 2 field pass, and at the end of this field pass, we get ourselves a 94 overall GG Volume 2 Hero Fantasy Pack. So basically, we get a free 94 overall, and it's non-BND. So we can put this into a 90 seven overall champion set if we want we can sell it on the auction house and make coin off of it and i'm still kind of stuck on what i'm going to do because i've been sitting here and there's upgrades i want to make and there's a smart way to do this in a dumb way but it's going to provide content way to do this so i'm still in the middle of figuring it out right now as we speak uh but the only thing that we haven't maxed out out of all of the field passes here is the competitive pass and i'm thinking by tomorrow we won't have it maxed out but the main reward that we're grinding for here level 22 200 cp 96 overall exclusive nate davis i'm thinking we should have this tomorrow when we get brand new objectives and your mutt champions resets and all of that so we're well on our way to get that 96 overall card for free some more packs we're going to get some coin rewards there because we're about to spend some coin in this video so let's do this we're going to open up some packs we're going to make some roster changes and I'll talk about what we're going to be doing going forward. I also maxed out house rules like every single reward available through house rules I was able to complete last night so we're now getting one more 88 plus GG volume 2 player. We got a red zone pack, a couple daily quick sells and then that 94 overall non BND fantasy uh, hero pack so let's open up the 88 plus see if we can get lucky. Remember last episode we pulled a 94 overall. We didn't get to do it again here unfortunately we're going to save this card for for quick sell when we go to our binder at the end of the video uh, but we do have 194 that's non bnd in our possession this would be the second one once we open up that pack and that's where i'm starting to run into this dilemma right do i sell those cards take the coins and buy the player that i want or do i complete one of the 97 overall champion sets and do it for content and i'll explain that in a moment because i think that's the route i'm going to take so our red zone pack didn't give us anything good at all the highest overall card was an 85 we got three daily quick sells let's see if we can get get like 15 20 25k somewhere around there that would be nice we got 3k so that one is an l second pack is going to give us 3k again another l and finally third time's a charm we get 5k all right we went upwards there so uh not the greatest uh, payouts there uh let's go ahead and open up the 94 overall pack now these all roughly go for about 150,000 coins so i don't think there's one that's better to pick over the other if my intentions are to sell them now if i was picking the best player available I did drop a video on my main channel going over the best 94s to choose. If you guys want to watch that video, we will link it down below in the comment section as a pinned comment just off the top of my head and just kind of really quick. Jamison Williams is definitely my favorite of all 
of these cards. Uh, Michael Wynn, who's a great right guard, but obviously you can get that free Nate Davis from the competitive pass. Bradley Roby is a really good corner. Kenny Pickett, probably the best quarterback available. Cameron Curl, pretty good user option. And then David Andrews at center is, is a good one for your offensive line. So it doesn't really matter who I pick. I'm just going to go ahead and get Jamison Williams because I'm not going to be keeping this card. One other move that we made roster-wise prior to this video was we sold Derrick Henry. So we got rid of him. Remember, we bought this card right above 400,000 coins and we used the rental strategy with LTDs, sold him for 415k. So well, we had this card, which was a very good card for us. I mean, we probably spent like 20 to 30k to have him. Great rental option with LTDs, especially when you can get them closer to 400k. And we rented another card essentially. Now it's going to be a little bit more of an expensive rental, but we added Leonard Fournette. We bought him for 512,000 coins. He might actually be cheaper now. I made this purchase like Thursday night. I love this card so much on my main account that I went ahead and made the upgrade on the no money spent account and he's going to be the running back for the near future. One other transaction that we made that you couldn't see on those screens because Mutt is broken and doesn't show you all of your auctions all the time. We sold Champ Bailey and we didn't sell him because he wasn't producing. Like he's been a very good card. Highly recommended cornerback. If you got about 300 to 350 K and you need somebody at the cornerback position, he's really good. I just wanted to get somebody new on the team. We've used Champ pretty much since the day he's come out, whether it was on my main account or this no money spent account and I think we're going to go for Isaiah Simmons now he goes for a little bit under 500,000 coins and we still have those 294s in possession we also have over 500,000 so the smart thing would be jump on the auction house buy the card and then sell those 294s which go for about 140 to 150k that would be the smart move the done move but doing it for content would be to complete the set for Isaiah Simmons which means we have to go out and buy three more 94 overall cards we're going to get that 97 overall Isaiah Simmons by doing so we also get 594 BND Gridiron Guardian 2 heroes in return but I don't need any of those 94s if I was trying to build my team and I had some you know holes in our offensive line we needed to fill or we needed another cornerback or another wide receiver it would be a great option with those cards that i mentioned earlier in the video because those are some pretty good budget options but on this team we've gotten so good and this is you know definitely a good place to be in with a no money spent squad we've gotten so good that 94 overall free cards aren't actually helping us out right now uh, but the reason that i'm going to go ahead and complete the set and again i wouldn't recommend that you do this if you were in this exact situation the smarter thing would be to just go out and buy the isaiah simmons i'm going to quick sell those 94 overall bnds for training we got 64,000 training right now I want to stack some more so we can open up the TVP one more time before it leaves stores next week so we're gonna go ahead and buy three more 94 overall GG heroes unfortunately they're actually more expensive than I anticipated I thought they were gonna be about 150 K they're closer to 160 K which isn't the end of the world here but they were cheaper a couple days ago so we're gonna have to spend like 21 to you know 25 more thousand than we expected to we got it so we'll be okay so let's go ahead and buy these 394s and then we'll go ahead and complete the Isaiah Simmons set I really went back and forth on what I was going to do at this cornerback position I thought about maybe picking up Denzel Ward the warden who was a little under 500k would have been a good slot defender I thought about saving my coins and maybe going after Mel Blunt who's probably the best cornerback in the game and we landed on sticking with Isaiah Simmons who is a not a position card at the cornerback position but he's going to be a slot defender for me which is going to be very helpful in the run game if you're dealing with quad father and derrick henry you need somebody who can make tackles and he can certainly do that and he's really good at blitzing the quarterback i used him on my main account for that and that's pretty much what his role was on that team and we're going to replicate that on this account as well and see if he can get home to the qb and cause some turnovers and uh you know put our, our opponents in some tough situations on second third and fourth down so there you have it 97 overall isaiah simmons we also get the 94 overall bnd pack like i said none of these cards can help us out you know normally we would build our offensive line with a pack like this get Mike Oweno get David Andrews but even those cards wouldn't be considered upgrades on my team so we're gonna go ahead and just take whatever random 94s we need we'll let them go to the binder because as we normally do on this account and on these videos we're gonna quick sell everything we don't need in our binder to close out the video but first let's put Isaiah Simmons on the depth chart here is our new looking defense with
with Isaiah Simmons. I went with mid zone KO, which is one AP, and then strip specialist, which is a zero AP ability. I don't know how well it works, but we might as well add it on there if it's zero AP. Um, Kair Elam, I just want to praise this card, has been extremely good for me. Acrobat, deep out zone KO, and pick artist for two AP total. Just a very, very good card. Six foot two, 97 speed. He's made a ton of plays, a lot more than the Patrick Sertain PS2 AKA card did on my main team. Uh, but there is a defense. I don't really anticipate many changes. We have a lot of rentals there that are going to hold their value with Frank Clark and Vita Vea. And then on offense, uh, we have Quentin Nelson. So we could upgrade our left guard. He's a 400K LTD rental option. Uh, Leonard Fournette, we talked about. Garrett Wilson's another one that I bought him for rental purposes, but he's been just flat out amazing at the wide receiver position. So we're probably going to keep him uh, for a while, but there's the offense. We should have Nate Davis tomorrow. Uh, once we add him to the squad, we will come back with another video and we're probably just going to quick sell Marshall Yonda. I know a lot of you told me to move him over to left guard and then get rid of Quentin Nelson and get the coin back. But I just have this OCD thing about playing guys out of position and they're overall going down. At the end of the day, it probably doesn't matter but it's just gonna bother me if I do it so that's the route we're gonna take as promised we're gonna quick sell everything in our binder that we don't need including these 94 overall BND cards and here's my thinking again I'm doing this all for content the smarter thing would have been to sell the 94s use the coin to buy Isaiah Simmons and we probably would have had like an extra two to 300 K sitting there uh, for us to use but instead we're gonna go ahead and quick sell all of this take the training from it and you know tomorrow we got aka cards and we're gonna gonna get an LTD from that and then Tuesday we got weekly wild cards we're gonna get another LTD I think what we're gonna do is try to stockpile as much training as we possibly can for Tuesday when we have two LTDs in packs and we're gonna spend whatever training we have there at that point on the TVP and hope for the best whether it's an LTD pull or something that's gonna make us coin but for now we leave with two upgrades and Leonard Fournette and Isaiah Simmons we got 67,000 coins we're definitely broke right now but 140 41k in training that could eventually turn us into some coin uh, by Tuesday but we'll be back tomorrow hopefully getting that Nate Davis on the squad getting to that 200 level CP on the competitive pass but thank you guys for tuning into another video my name is popular stranger I'm out peace